Yeah, but when I first started teaching, kids told me I looked like Johnny Depp. Now they tell me I look like Jack Black, and I don't know how I feel about that. There's a plug just inside the door, though. Right. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Aspinall. Today, Steph is installing a cat door on the camping trailer. Stick around. No, I don't think so. Oh, yes. Okay, YouTube. Check it out. And you can lock it so it only opens one way, both ways, or no ways. It's just a sheet of metal and styrofoam, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, that's clean, huh? That's clean. We were doing some gardening. But look, nothing to it. A little piece of tin and some styrofoam in the middle. So, zinc, 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 zinc. Boom. So I guess the next owners of this camper have to have a cat <laughs> or a small dog. Or I guess it's ours for life, but uh, who goes camping with a cat? Do you go camping with a cat? Do you know anybody that goes camping with a cat? Comment below. I I have a friend with a cottage who brings her cats to the cottage, but I don't know anybody that goes camping with a cat. <laughs> small dog. It's a small dog. Uh, small dog door. Small doggy door. This? Yeah. Just try and stick to the lines best you can. Is this new? No, that's an old blade. We never have any new ones. Will it work? Yeah, it'll be fine. It might just chew it up, but that's why it's so thick here to hide it. There's always silicone. There's always silicone. Awesome. I want you to go inside and put your face through it for the camera. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is Tom gonna like this? Just a hair. Probably because I measured it. Hi, Tom. I didn't measure it. This is all Steph's project. Oh, speak of the devil. Look at this guy. Dinner time. 
And uh, it's backwards on the camera, Aspa. You gotta point this way. There we go. Tom! Got a little bit more? Yeah. Oh! 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 Come on! B buddy, it's like you knew! He didn't use it though. Still no? No. But it's got a gasket. Yeah. And then the screws will pull it tight. Oh, I see. This goes inside and that makes the seal. Yeah. So it doesn't leak. Oh no, I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. It's in. Nice. <laughs> it's like it, it looks to me like that piece goes inside this piece there's no way it's, it's not like your cuts off it's off by like a quarter of an inch yeah there's there's the cut line correct mm -hmm. but then this piece has its own sticky out party this guy but this is what i drew with i guess yeah well i guess i'm a little off in the drawing Let's compromise and blame Blade With. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blame the instructions. Which, oh, where are they? I have to show the camera. They're oh, I want to get I didn't them. Okay, check this out. Check this out, I'll bring it out for it. Bright. Cat door installation instructions. One. Two. Three. Four. Band-aids, now it's probably tape. And I have no idea what's happening here. Take a jigsaw and screw the cat door into place to ensure there are no sharp edges or screws protruding. That's it, YouTube. That's what you get with this cat door. Uh, this cat door is an amazing product who maybe should give me an affiliate link for Amazon. Maybe I should post it in the description below so you can get a cat door for your camper and maybe they'll give me some kind of kickback so I can pay for a new barbecue chimney because I need one. Uh, so if you're watching no brand uh, cat door installation product company, hit that subscribe button and uh, let us know how we did because I don't know how many people take their cats camping. Would you take your cat camping at a provincial park or a state park in the United States? Steph, would you take your cat camping? So why, why does this product exist? Uh, it's not made for a camper, it's made for a house. This? Yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and I'm incredibly embarrassed. Are you still just trying to trim it a little bit? I just need to trim that much off. I don't know if you have styrofoam or metal shrapnel in your hair. <laughs> you have to um, come in on an arc and then come back to the corner. Yeah.
Well, that's my strategy. It's all one piece, either it's been glued or... That's what the inside of a camper trailer door looks like, as expected. Whatever value do you think that is? Comment below, what R value do you think that is? I think you got it, and I think the screws will just secure it. Did it say like the thickness of the door that this was suitable for? Or is that dependent on this length no. of the screws? Did you see the instructions? <laughs> we, we all saw the instructions, yes. Can you hand me the... Okay, well, what did it say on Amazon? Cat, cat door for a door? <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling YouTube that Cheap maybe... Cheap crime cat door. No, 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 don't say that in case they're watching. We're like, oh. we can get an affiliate link for this cat door and get a kickback. What do you think? Oh okay. <laughs> well, was there a name on Amazon or was it just a cat door? There was a name, I'm sure. Oh, baby. Did it over tighten? Did it strip already? There's nothing behind it, so it's just in the metal, right? Oh, of course. It, I thought it screwed into the back. No. This just sits in there? Yeah. Come on. I'm not kidding. There's no glue or anything? No. There's I understand the pads. gasket on the outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. To go on the inside? Yeah, I get the screws on the gasket on the outside to make it waterproof. I do appreciate the engineering and the locking mechanisms. <laughs> Our cat's gonna stand in front of it and meow at it. Yeah. I appreciate that it comes with a nice film so it doesn't get scratched. We'll train the neighborhood squirrels how to get in. Ooh, we got some thunder action out there. Another storm, eh, Stevie? Look at all the pollen on the screen. It's all pollen. Fancy, fancy. Even have the screw hole covers. This is top quality. Uh, how much is this? Oh, I don't know. You don't remember? No. Ballpark. Like fifteen dollars. Canadian. Yeah. Shipped from. Mm. It came relatively quickly. If you ever find yourself installing a cat door on um, an entrance or exit in in your property, I highly recommend that you do so with a safety hat, like my Codebreaker one I'm sporting right now. If you want your own Codebreaker hat, visit www.codebreakeredu.com and ensure you're safe while installing said cat door. The last one won't fit. None of them won't fit. You got three in. No? What are the other ones for? Why are there so many? Ooh. Where's that rubber mallet? Where's the rubber mallet? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm holding a camera and I'm not efficient enough. gonna go through the cat door? Stevie? Stevie? Do you want to go through the cat door? Stevie? Stevie? <laughs> Do you want to go through the cat door? What'd you lose? The sticky things. They're over here. 
Oh, thunder! Oh, oh, I gotta go out there quick. I'll be right back. Ah, it's not much, but you can see the rain coming down across the lake. That would be, that would be Ohio, because Michigan's over here, I think. And then I would assume Pennsylvania that way. I don't know. Help me out. I'm on the North Shore of, on the Canadian side. I think I have that right. Oh yeah, look at that. But that's what's coming. So it's a quick one. I started power washing the deck, was going to make a video, but took a day off. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. It's not as slippery here. This gets really slick when it's wet. And all we need is the dog and or child sliding off. Why is there no railing, you ask? Well, you put a railing on and it's classified as a deck. If you leave the railing off, it's a dock. That's your fun fact for the day. It's been another episode of Fun Facts with Brian Aspinall. Also, grateful for all the messages after yesterday's video. It wasn't posted, uh, it wasn't a pity party, but I'm grateful that so many of you reached out. So thank you, thank you, and I uh, hope you're doing okay too. Are you sitting because you're scared of the thunder? Are you scared of the thunder? <laughs> Do you like thunder? Oh, the tools have been cleaned up. How'd it go? Done. Oh, we missed the sticky back installation. Oh, we missed the film removal. <sighs> thumbs down. Thumbs down. Someone's gonna thumbs down this video. A nice gap in here if you're worried about winter camping. But... Oh, come on. That's why we have silicone. That's why we have silicone. Cause let's do a locking mechanism demo. Can we? Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure it out together. Okay, does red mean stop from the inside or from the outside? Here we go. Click, won't open from the inside. Click, and then I'm assuming green will open from the inside, won't open from the outside. I already see how it works, it's pretty simple. Okay, ready? See that, nipple type doodads? No, you don't, because I'm like filming over here. Nipple dad, doodad things. Slide, either in behind, here. You can see on the bottom, it's got like a little track. It locks it in the track, boom. If we do both, if we do both, I can get in there. If we do both, it's raccoon proof. It's squirrel proof. It's already scratched. Look at that. It's already scratched. Is it raining out there? Did you show them our back screen we put together yesterday? No, <laughs> no. The gym, <laughs> the gym's together. There's a gym inside. No one's spending thousands of dollars on gym memberships these days, I guess, so you might as well spend it on the equipment. Are you happy? Is he gonna use it? Well, now we have to find, Tom! He's under the trailer, probably. Hiding from the thunder. Show the Max Trainer. He told me to. The truck's been in the shop for three days. That was a $1,500 fix. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? There's the gym. There's the gym. There's the view from the gym. We moved the countertop over. Remember it stuck out on both ends. A few of you were like, why does it do that? Because we bought it to go into a corner and to be an L. So you cut a 45 in the countertop. We're not doing that yet. But this space here with the stool, perfect for video uploads right there. And uh, yeah, there it is. 
Neighbors came over. Can you tell? You know who you are. Look for the rainbow. Do you see the rainbow? Do you see the rainbow? Remember that viral video? Double rainbow! What does this mean? What does this mean? What you Double rainbow! Something like that. <coughs> Remember it? What did you do yesterday while well, I put together the nice cream? I power washed the deck. Yeah. I showed them. Oh, yeah. What? Now we wait for the cat. And dangle a treat or something. Cover it with catnip. I bet he runs right into it. We have that spray. I was kidding, but okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, good idea. I should go to the back. Beautiful. Maybe that should be the thumbnail. I don't think Tom's coming back to later. <laughs> Tom! Well, friends, as always, thanks for watching. Peace and love from Colchester, Ontario, Canada. Canada's most southern mainland. Shoreline, give somebody close to you a hug, tell them they matter. Don't forget, you matter. Till next time. Buddy, go try the door. Go, go. Buddy, go. Go, go to the door, go to the door. No, buddy, wrong way, wrong way, buddy. Oh my, you just did that.